the flood. You ought to tell somebody, I don't know what you're going through, but if you build on a solid rock, you can stand the storm. Mm. When the wind gets through blowing, when the lightning gets through flashing, when the thunder gets through rolling, hey! solid rock you're gonna still be standing yeah glory to God and that's all I want to tell you today I'm getting ready to go to my seat but I've seen the lightning flashing I, I, I've heard the thunder roaring I felt sins break of to conquer my soul but hey hey but I heard the voice of Jesus he bids me to still fight on oh, he promised oh, he promised he promised never to leave me never to leave me alone Let me add one footnote to David. I know your friend said, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Mm, but let Paul step in. Paul answers David. David say, if the foundation is destroyed, what can the righteous do? Paul steps up. Said, so David, sit down. Let me tell you something. I know that you are the father figure. They said Jesus the Messiah would be a son of David. So David, you an ancestor. And you know ancestors don't really live many times to see what their descendants do. A lot of us in here now, I don't know what my dad, Bishop W.A. would say if he could see me now. You see, Parents don't live long enough to see what happens generation after generation. But Paul steps up and said, David, I just want to tell you, he came through your family, but he walked the sandy shores of Galilee, healed the sick, cleansed the lepers, unstopped deaf ears, opened blinded eyes, cleansed lepers, walked on the water he laid a foundation and let me tell you what the foundation that he laid is sure you don't have to worry about what's gonna happen to the foundation for the foundation of God stand it sure that the Lord knows it doesn't matter how many hypocrites are in the church the Lord knows it doesn't matter how confused you get sometimes. The foundation is sure having this seal. God knows them that are here. He knows those that are washed in the blood. He knows those that are filled with the spirit. He knows that when you're going through your trials, if you put your hand in his hand, don't worry about the foundation. The foundation won't be damaged God knows turn to somebody and tell them the foundation is sure because God knows uh -huh. he knows Woo. he knows Sometimes it's best to leave it that way. No need in telling nobody else that your spouse cursed you out between midnight and day. They don't need to know it. God knows. Woo! Don't worry. Don't upset the job. Telling everybody about what happened to you. Hey, 
that they gave somebody else some money, gave them a bonus, didn't give you one, gave them a raise, didn't give you one. Don't nobody else need to know. God knows. All y'all don't hear me. Some folk, every time they testify, every time they open their mouth, they complaining about what happened. The devil did this, and the devil did that, and the devil did the other. And then you, I said the other night, you forgot your keys, locked them up in the, in the car. And I tell you, the devil and made me lock up my key. The devil didn't do that. You just getting old. You can't remember like you used to. Or else you weren't minding your business. You making the devil some big top. You know, he did this and he did that. Hey, the devil ain't nobody. Jesus said, I saw him falling from heaven. You ought to tell somebody, the devil is not a mountain in front of you. He's fallen. And anything fallen, you can step over or step on and keep on going. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. People don't have to know everything you go through. You don't have to get up and tell it all. Some testimonies are not expedient. Some things you tell it and other folk tell it. And before you know it, you become a laughing stock. Everything you don't have to tell. Folk don't need to know. But God knows. He saw you between midnight and day. When you went in the bathroom and shut the door so couldn't nobody else see you cry. He heard you in the midnight hour when you run out of words and all you could do was moan and groan in agony. He knows hey, when the children are crying and you don't have enough food to fix. He knows when it looks like your money is going to run out and you won't even have gas to buy gas to go from home to work and back home. Nobody else may not know, but he knows when you're false accused, misunderstood, name hung on the highway, even though you've done no wrong. He knows pains are in your body and the doctor's medicine can't help. He knows. Hey, hey. Touch somebody and say, I don't know. Some friends like Job, they told him, run away, escape to the mountain. But David said, don't tell me to flee when my trust is in God. Job had the same kind of friends. They sat down with him in the dust for seven days. He needed encouragement, but they didn't say a word. And when they opened their mouth, they said the wrong thing. They said, Job, you've been fooling us. You haven't lived like you told us you were living. And then you talking about being holy. Job, don't you know even the heavens are not pure in his sight. He even charged the angels with folly. But I heard Job say, shut up. You're a bunch of miserable comforters. You don't even know what you're saying. But I, I just want to see him because he knows the way I take tried to find him I went on my right where he usually works and I couldn't find him there I moved to my left and I couldn't find him there I backed up and I couldn't back up on him I went forward and he wasn't there so I decided I'm just gonna wait right here until he find me he knows
Come on, open your mouth and give him the fruit of your lips and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a hand of praise and you may be seated. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want every sinner in this building. You've heard the voice of the Lord this morning. And the Lord has convicted you. I want you to come to the center aisle and come down to the altar right now. I want every backslider that you know that the presence of the Lord has spoken to you. And you know that your lines of communication is not right in his sight. I want you to stand to your feet and come down to this altar. And I want every saint who knows that this is the place that the Lord is leading you to become membership to faithfully put your trust in this pastor and the following of this ministry. I want you to obey the voice of the Lord, stand to your feet and come down to this front altar. You may be in the balcony, on the main level, the west wing, God bless you my brother, or even in the lower level. But I know the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I know that he's talking to you. I feel the presence of God on me right now. And you feel that same presence of the Lord urging you to get your life together and obey his voice. That's right, my sister. Come on. Hallelujah. That's right, my brother. Come on. Hallelujah. Hey. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Others that the Lord is speaking to. Hallelujah. I know you're out there. I feel the presence of the Lord on your life. If you feel the presence of God and you know he's speaking to your heart, he's speaking to your spirit. Backside a sinner or a saint who know that the Lord is calling you to do what's right in his sight. I want you to stand and come to the altar. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus.